Welcome to Sincere Ignorance, and let's get straight into basically talking about two black men who are extremely innovative when it comes to the internet, and we're talking about Albert White and Emmett J. McHenry. Now, I'm going to read an article from thegriel.com, and of course, you could back it up, you know, by doing research on network solutions. This is its own bullshit crap, even if you don't uh, feel that the griot is a valid reference. There are plenty of other sites that I will give you the sources to after reading some of the uh, article. So basically, they sat down with Albert White to discuss, you know, basically what, what took place uh, decades ago when they basically had the internet in their hand. And, and let's, let's go into it, you know, years before Google, before tablets, heck, before the internet was a popular term, and even before the first domain name was offered to the general public, a predominantly African-American team actually once controlled the internet, or at least your domain access to it. Few may know it today, but Albert White was a vital part of that team and still thinks longingly about those heady days when sink or swim business decisions were made by the minute and when untold amounts of money were within graphs reach if they just could have held out long enough. Once upon a time, a couple of friends got the idea that this tech stuff might be a good, a good business opportunity. Emma J. McHenry was working diligently at the time as a vice president at the former Union Mutual Insurance Corporation. Between this position and a former one, which he held as a systems engineer at IBM, he could see how the dots were beginning to connect in a new way in business. So he, along with some partners, started a little company called Network Solutions in 1979. Again, Network Solutions in 1979. So this is in 1979 where you had these men, these black men who basically had the, one of the biggest opportunities of a lifetime. And they worked together to create these domains, .org, .com, .edu. And Network Solutions is, right now is a $20 billion uh, uh, company. And, and basically they had their first, their first grips on it. But even though they were able to lay the foundation for the internet pertaining to the domains, the, the weird thing is they couldn't get anyone to, to back them. Not Ebony, not Jet, not, not white companies, not black companies. They couldn't get anyone to invest in them. So eventually they folded and, and, and they gave it away. And I don't really want to say gave it away because the, the fact is they could, if you can't, for a lot of ideas, if you can't get an investor, especially at that time, a lot of them would fall flat. A lot of them would cave in and they would sell it. And people who had enough power, enough investors would be able to carry the idea that somebody else had came up with. So it happened a lot of times back in the day and to, to a degree it even happens right now in this day and age. So when you think of McHenry and you think of White, you know, you, you think of people who were basically before their time and, and in black, two black men who was trusted, you know, basically to even get a tip about the internet and about how big it was going to be. And, and it's something we need to need to realize that we need to start supporting these black men and women with amazing ideas over and over again you have people like albert white and people like uh emmett mchenry who have laid the groundwork on when it comes to innovation when it comes to the tech world you know when it comes to even even the, the, there was a black man at the head of uh when it comes to the video games with the cartridge you know that eventually became popular with uh, Nintendo, and uh, I believe his name is Jerry. Yeah, Jerry. And and again, no credit. You know, a lot of people do not try to to showcase these men and women who basically set the groundwork when it comes to a lot of the things we enjoy right now. Or like even when we talk about hidden figures, what went on with uh, Katherine Johnson and her being a mathematician and all the black women in that particular space at the time for NASA who were 
mathematician who basically was moving the culture forward. So it's very important that it's very, very important that we remain adamant about watching these people and, and supporting these people. Like I said, with blackspot.com, you know, I'm supporting them. Everybody, I mean, they have over 5,000 people now signing up um, and, and going on their, on their server. And of course, there's going to be kinks that needs to be ironed out. Sometimes it may be slightly buggy, uh, pertaining to the app, but the, all, all those things are going to be fixed. All those things are what they are working on currently. And, and, and you know what, it, it's always encouraging to know that you can make it. And it's always encouraging to know that you can have that support backing you as well. And, and that's why I'm basically just telling you guys and ladies about it, you know. I know a lot of people didn't know that. They always say, you know, we, we're on other people's platforms. But if you think about it logically, a lot of the, the, the platforms that all Americans are on were created by black people or were advanced by black individuals. So that's something to always keep in mind. Uh, again, I'm going to leave the sources below in the description box for you guys and ladies. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Sincere Ignorance. Uh, don't forget to to also uh, donate to my PayPal. Uh, I re really appreciate it. I also have my Patreon in the description box below as well. And also, uh, again, my page to blackspot.com uh, again for sin Sincere Ignorance. So this is your girl, Sincere, and I am out. Peace. Sincere ignorance. When you always holding it down, and when you looking for your man's, they ain't nowhere around. When you go and call your crew, and you got beef, but you don't know what to do. When your man's claiming the fame is always kicking you down and throwing dirt on your name. When you looking over your shoulder and worrying because your mind is in paranoia Young girl growing up, she 19 years old, her plans fold Now she's going down this road, her parents always fussing and fighting It's taking its toll, she need a break from the bullshit, but no one knows Try to be there for her, cause we so parallel She call me Belle, only see me with a wink and a smile Try to give her much game so she know how to move Cause through this bad weather in life, you always lose I won't say her mind's clouded, she don't know what to do Trying to get her life together, maybe stay in school Try doing the same thing, but things made me change That's why I'm always here for her. Trying to give her some games She always been there for me Help me out when I need it Give her that ill sex look When she's showing her cleavage Super thick, pretty face, but self-esteem is low I guess a helping hand is always much needed to grow When you always holding it down And when you looking for your mans, they ain't nowhere around When you go and call your crew And you got beef, but you don't know what to do when your man's claiming the fame is always kicking you down and throwing dirt on your name When you looking over your shoulder and worrying in because your mind is in paranoia She can't stand it, walking around, feels abandoned Mom's hooked on drugs and daddy can't handle it The streets took over his views while he lusted for money Meanwhile, his daughter looking at him funny Growing up, all she wanted was to be like daddy But now seeing for who he is, she can't be like daddy She need a man, young king, that's gonna treat her as queen Look for love, can't find her, seeks the man in her dream From the street hustlers, their agenda is using you For your mind, body, and soul Don't let them fool with you, take advantage of your youth And they sell you a dream I guess love ain't really just who she's up as it seems She can't stand it, now she all stranded Playing the God, looking to him, hope that she gets handpicked for a blessing. But in this lesson in life, never trusting nobody, always doing what's right. When you always holding it down, and when you looking for your mans, they ain't nowhere around. When you go and call your crew, and you got beef, but you don't know what to do. When your mans claiming the fame is always kicking you down and throwing dirt on your name. When you looking over your shoulder and worrying because your mind is in paranoia 